أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة Alhamdulillah hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fih Was salatu was salam ala sayyidil anam Sayyidina wa nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi al-kiram Balagha risala wa adda al-amana Wa nasaha al-ummah Wa kashafa al-ghumma Wa jahada fi Allahi haqqa jihadih Wa salatullahi wa salamu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa atba'ahi wa ahli baytihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa inna astaqa al-hadith kitabullah Wa inna khala al-hadiyya hadiyya muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Wa inna sharra al-umuri muhdasatuha wa kullu muhdasatin bid'ah Wa kullu bid'atin dalalah Wa kullu dalalatin fi nar Amma ba'd فقال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون All praises for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator, our master, the lord of the worlds and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers all the prophets and messengers of Allah from Adam alayhi salam to Nuh alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam and the last and final prophet Muhammad salawatullahi wa salam wa alayhi wa alayhi wa ajma'een may peace and blessing of Allah be upon him and upon his family, upon his followers upon all the prophets of Allah and the followers of the prophets of Allah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us among them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, O you who believe, be mindful of Allah. Have the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you ought to have his taqwa. And do not die except in the state of Islam. That means live in Islam all the way until the end of your life. Islam is a very beautiful religion, its teachings, its message, all aspects of Islam are great and beautiful. One thing that our religion emphasizes very much is that believers should be active, should do things. So religion in Islam is not a matter of feeling good. It is a matter of doing good. Unless you do good, there is no use just feeling good. And it is emphasized that the believers must work and work hard and work until the end as much as they can. And also, it is important to understand that in Islam, 
there is not a sharp uh, division between the religious work and the, the worldly work, the secular work. Secular work, the religious work, all of them are religious as long as they are done in the right way. As long as they are done in the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the work must be right and good. And the Quran has, has emphasized good action many places. More than 75 times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasized the work Amilu Salihat. Doing the Salihat, the righteous deeds. So work should be done with the consciousness of Allah and with the conviction that everything is recorded and it is going to be shown and judged on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a number of places in the Quran and especially in Surah Al-Najm, Am lam yunabba bima fi suhufi Musa wa Ibrahim alladhi waffa Allah tazru waziratun vizra ukhra wa an laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a wa anna sa'yahu sofa yura thumma yujzahu al jazaa al awfa wa anna ila rabbika al muntaha Have you not been informed about what is in the books of Musa alayhi salam and the teachings of Ibrahim alayhi salam the one who was most faithful that is, no one can bear the burden of another on the Day of Judgment. And insan, human beings, will not find except whatever he endeavored. And his endeavor is going to be shown to him. And then he will be given the full recompense. And to your Lord is the ultimate return. وَأَنَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ الْمُنْتَهَىٰ so this is the basic principle that is whatever we do is recorded. Whatever we say and whatever we do is recorded and each one of us are preparing our book and this book is going to be presented to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those whose books will be given to them in their right hand and not those whose books will be given to them from behind or from the, the, the left hand and make us proud of our book on the Day of Judgment. Iqra kitabak kafa bi nafsika al-yawma alayka hasiba Read your own book and you will take account of your own self. The it, there, there are two hadiths that I want to mention in this context. One is the, reported by Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She said, مَرَّ عَلَى النَّبِيَ صلى الله عليه وسلم رَجُلْ فَرَآ أَصْحَابُ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم مِنْ جَلَدِهِ وَنَشَاطِهِ وَقَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ لَوْ كَانَ هَذَا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَقَالْ إن كان خرج يسعى على ولده صغارا فهو في سبيل الله وإن كان خرج يسعى على بوين شيخين كبيرين فهو في سبيل الله وإن كان خرج يسعى على نفسه يعرفها فهو في سبيل الله وإن كان خرج يسعى رياء ومفاخرة فهو في سبيل الشيطان إمام باس باي the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba saw this person very active, moving very fast for his worldly business. So they say, we wish that this was he was doing that for the, in the path of Allah. So the Prophet ﷺ said, if he is going out to earn for his children, little children, it is Fisabilillah. And if he is going out to take care of his old parents, it is fisabilillah. 
and if he is going out for himself so that he can take care of himself and don't beg to other people in, in front of other people that is also fisabilillah but if he is going to show off and to brag about himself then it is the way of shaitan for what she appeal shaitan so going for your business doing your work whatever your profession as long as it is done in the right way in the halal way with the right intention it is fisabilillah so fisabilillah is yes coming to the masjid praying fisabilillah is fasting in the month of ramadan fisabilillah is going to hajj fisabilillah is struggling in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of these are fisabilillah but at the same time fisabilillah is also that you do your mundane activity but keeping allah in your mind keeping allah in your mind and doing it in the right way there is another hadith that is mentioned by anas radhiyallahu an he said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in qamat as-sa'a wa bi yad ahadikum fasila fa in istata'a alla yaquma hatta yaghrisha fal yaf'al wa fi riwayat fa inna lahu bi dhalika ajr anas radhiyallahu anhu says that rasulullah said if the last hour come and one of you has a plant in his hand if he can not to move not to stand up before planting it let him plant it because he will receive the reward for that the so last hour has come and he was doing something planting something and the rasulullah said don't give up do do planting if you can do that this is very very vivid kind of message that do the work continue doing the work tashji' lil amal encouragement to do the work and here is not this is it's not saying that you know somebody else will say if the last hour come rush to the masjid and pray and give up everything else don't pay attention to your family don't pay attention to this and that the rasul asam did not say that he said continue doing your work if it is a good work continue doing that because you will receive the reward for that too so that is encouragement to work and also at the same time it says that do not despair do not say unless i see the fruit of my work what should i work why should i work your job is to work in the right way and the results are in the hands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so put your trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as long as your intention is right your amal is right your deed is right and your intention is right inshallah you will see the reward for that you may be able to see the fruits of your action now fasila is a palm date palm uh, seedling and if somebody put that in the ground it may take 8 years 6 years by the time the tree will grow up and bring the fruit and here is the the last hour the qiyama is is there but rasulullah said no go ahead fal yazraha fal fal yaghrisha let him plant it because it is your action your doing that will bring the reward so do your whatever you good your work you are doing continue doing your work but of course in islam there are priorities in islam there are certain things that you have to do so whatever you do you do it in obedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So action must be based on the sharia the principle that are given to you about halal and haram between right and wrong and then also sharia tells you what is fard 
and what is sunnah and what is mustahab what is halal what is haram what is makruh you all get that those categories to follow those categories so your priorities must be there you have to understand your priorities and also your intention your intention must be ikhlas sincerely for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you're doing so your business sincerely with honesty with truthfulness in the right way then you will see the reward for that what you go to a school go to college your study is there is for the if it is the right intention inshallah you will see the reward for that so that is the beauty of islam it does not separate religion from life but live your life have your family have your children have your business at the same time remember your prayers remember your duties to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huququllah remember your duties towards your family remember your duties toward the community toward the people around whom you are living to your islamic center to your neighbors muslims or non muslims and also remember your duties toward the environment toward the resources all of these things that called huququllah huququl ibad huququl ashya huququl nafs all these huquq are mentioned you remember that fulfill those and you will receive the reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the same time you have to understand that that there are priorities called awlawiyat and they are ma'alat whatever you do understand what is first and what is after that and then also what are the consequences of your actions whatever action you take understand the consequences pay attention to that so use your wisdom use your understanding and do things in the right way and then inshallah all of this is religious action all of this is part of the deen so deen does not take you away from your life from your business from your activities but actually all of this is part of that and if you do them of these these things live your life with your family with your business with your work and and fulfilling your obligations there is a reward for that everything will you receive the reward for that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that is sadaqa in everything that you do you are with your spouse you are enjoying your family life and this is the sadaqa this is charity this is a good deed sadaqa means that means that you are giving charity to your wife but you are meaning that you are being kind to her and this you are receiving the reward for that is is as a good deed is a good action and there is a reward for that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in the quran number of places but allah says inna alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat inna la nudiyu ajra man ahsana amala those who believe and do the good deeds we shall not deny them deny the reward of one who is best in his action inna alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat inna la nudiyu ajra man ahsana amala and in another place allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa'ada allah alladhina amanu minkum wa amilu salihat la yastakhlifannahum fil ardh kama stakhlafa alladhina min qablihim wa la yumakkinanna lahum deenahum alladhi irtada lahum wa la yubaddilannahum min ba'di khawfihim amna ya'budunani la yushrikuna bi shay'a wa man kafara ba'da dhalik faulaika humul fasiqun allah has promised those among you who believe and work righteous deeds that he will surely make them succeed in the land as he caused those who were before them to succeed and he will establish for them their religion which he has approved for them and he will change them from the state of fear to that of security they will worship me not ascribing any partner to me and whosoever disbelieves thereafter it is they who are rebellious allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that success the way of success is that be 
aware of what is going on, understand the realities, pay attention to the world, to education, to business, to commerce, to relations with other people, and at the same time, pay attention to your obligations, your hukuk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you fulfill that in a most comprehensive way, in a wholesome way, then this is the way of success. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will approve that. This is what Islam stands for. So Islam does not say that don't do anything, just be praying and fasting and all these things. These things are very important, but at the same time say that do this, at the same time whatever you are doing, make sure that it is halal. Make sure it is right. Be honest. Be sincere. Be truthful. So Tajir, who is Sadiq and Amin, he is like somebody who is working for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, giving his life for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like a Mujahid. They are all standing in the same way. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding of our faith and make our life the life of goodness, the life of uh, truth and sincerity and our relations with all people in the right way. Wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alam. Alhamdulillah. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين. As we are involved in our businesses, as we are involved in our own work, as we are involved in our ibadat, in a similar way, we have to understand what is going on in the world, what is happening to other people what is happening in the society and other places, and we should take civil action. We should take legislative, legislative action. We should uh, express ourselves within the law in a peaceful manner, but we should express ourselves. And we should uh, protest if there is a need to protest. And we should write to the authorities the people who are, who we speak on our behalf, who, who rule, we should speak to them and we should tell them what is going on. And there are so many things that are happening in the world. I especially draw to your, your attention to the situation of Muslims in India. I mean, there are many other places, but at this time especially. There are the large community of Muslims that are going through a great difficulty. And in the state of Karnataka, uh, the state is forbidding Muslim women, Muslim girls, to attend the classes with hijab. And this is the first time happening in India that Muslims, a large number of Muslims, have been living there for centuries. Now they are not allowed in that state to have their hijab. And this kind of uh, discrimination, which is against the constitution of India, which is against the tradition of India, is now happening. So it is important that uh, we should be aware of that and express our opinion, send letters, and inform our own authorities about that. Tell them what is going on. As we do that about Kashmir, as we do that about Palestine, as we do that about Burma, as we do that about China, as we do the other places, now the new situation has come back, has come such, uh, around, so it is important that we should be aware of that and should pay attention. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help the people who are suffering in any part of the world, everywhere, and remove this Islamophobia, hate of Islam from the mind of the people. Abna atina fi dunya hasana, fi al-akhrati hasana, tamwaqina rabana. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه 
وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين خصوصا على الخلفاء الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى السيدين الشهيدين أبي محمد الحسن وأبي عبد الله الحسين وعلى أمهما فاطمة الزهراء والعمه المعزمين المكرمين عند الله والناس الحمزة والعباس وعلى سائر الصحابة والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم بفضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم وخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر فأقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Stow, stow, stop him. Please make a straight line. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وَإِن تُبْدُوا مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ تُخْفُوهُ يُحَاسِبْكُمْ بِهِ اللَّهِ فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُعَذِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِنْ رُسُلِهِ وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وصعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ان في خلق السماوات والارض واختلاف الليل والنهار لايات لاولي الالباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار ربنا انك من تدخل النار فقد اخزيته وما للظالمين من انصار ربنا اننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للايمان ان امنوا بربكم فامنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الابرار ربنا واتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامه انك لا تخلف الميعاد الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم everyone uh, I'd like to thank our khatib Dr. Mazumil Siddiqui we are extremely thankful and grateful that he was able to come and visit us May Allah grant us all the strength to work to the very end on the righteous path. Please remember, uh, there are some changes in the Fajr time. There will be 5.45 from this Sunday. Next uh, Friday is the family night on the 18th. And the 24th at 6 p.m. we'll be having our uh, tech classes. And tomorrow, 11.30 is the chess club uh, meeting. And we also we have COVID testing going on outside in the front now, so please do utilize it for those who need it and if you have uh, family members who do need it. Lastly, remember in your duas, uh, Sister uh, Taliba uh, Begum in San Diego and Brother Muhammad uh, uh, Magdumi, who's uh, sick, and also um, the aunt of our Brother uh, Nabi Ahmed, who's uh, in Pakistan, is she's sick. And also, lastly, uh, there's a youth from our community who have the Girl Scout table outside. Please do visit them and support them. And lunch is available in the back. And please do remember to donate generously. Thank you. Jazakallah.